What's up guys? The name of this live is Discipline is for Losers and I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. That's not what we hear, right? It's all about that freaking discipline. You got to be disciplined. I haven't done a card chat in a while. This has been on my mind. And and the, and I'm, I'll start this off by saying the reason I feel this way is because you, maybe some of you who have followed me for a while have heard me say before, people will say like if they see I have muscle or whatever, they're like, dude, you're so freaking disciplined. And I'm always like, Rrr. it's like the <laughs> the screeching of the record player. I'm like, it doesn't really feel like I'm disciplined. And you know why it doesn't feel like I'm disciplined? Because I freaking love it. It's like saying that like you're really disciplined because you drink your coffee in the morning. I don't think you're drinking your coffee out of discipline, are you? You look forward to it. You can't wait to have it. Except for some of you who don't drink coffee. But you know what I'm saying. There's things in your life that like, it doesn't take discipline because you love it. And the reason I think discipline is for losers is because if you are doing something out of sheer discipline, like think of something in your life that you've just been doing out of sheer freaking discipline. Are you still even doing it? Or if you do, are you doing it? If you are still doing it, are you doing it well? I don't think the goal should be discipline. I think the goal should be how do I find joy in this thing that gets me the results that I want. So instead of focusing our attention so much on like, I just got to be freaking disciplined. This sucks, but this is, this is what it takes to win. It's like, is it though doing something that you hate and don't look forward to is like helping you win in life? Because if you can find a way, let's say you want to do a podcast. Okay. You want to start a podcast. If you freaking hate it, something's wrong. So like, what can you shift to help it be more fun and something you look forward to? Maybe you've got to make it on your terms a little bit. Maybe you don't like interviewing people. Maybe you like doing a solo cast or vice versa. Do that. Because if it's coming into just always discipline and I hate this and it sucks, one, you're not going to continue doing it. And two, you're not going to do it well. But when it's, when you find a way to make yourself love it, I was just interviewed about, um, mindfulness. Um, just like right before I got in the car and, um, she was asking for tips on meditation and I was like, make it an environment that you like meditating in, make it an, in, a, a meditation experience that you like. So maybe you like guided, maybe you don't like guided, maybe you like TM, but making it, whatever you're doing also make it like a, a, a space. I'm not like a, I'm not like really a believer that like crystals have magic powers. Sorry, I don't mean to offend anybody, but you know, they could, <laughs> sure, um, hasn't been scientifically proven, but I like the idea of crystals in my meditation space because I like having a, a visual reminder of what I'm focusing on. So if I want to look at citrine and I'm thinking in my mind that this is going to bring me abundance, I'm focused on abundance, right? So I like having crystals. I like using them as tools in my meditation space of like, this is what I'm freaking focused on today. You know, um, I like having a little spot that's comfortable for me. Um, I also like to get my coffee going while I'm meditating because it's like this ritual that I like. It's like, huh? get my coffee going, sit down, I meditate. When I get done, I get my coffee and I do my gratitude and my personal development, right? So I'm, I'm building joy around it instead of just like, okay, freak, this sucks. I got to freaking meditate again. Like you're not going to continue to do that because you don't like it. It's the same with fitness. So like, how can you make yourself like it? Do you need to go to a different gym? Maybe you're a social person. You want to do a class. I don't like working out with people. Sorry. I'm just letting everybody know right now. People, when people are like, can you work out with me sometime? I'm like, oh, freak. Seriously. I'm not going to be able to get my workout in right. <laughs> so I don't do that a lot. But some people, they love having a workout partner and it makes them want to go. So whatever brings you joy, that is going to be the ticket because you're looking forward to it. You want it. You can't wait to do it. I love my my gym experience because it's just it's so freaking enjoyable. I like my comfy clothes, I like my music, my playlist, I like my headphones, I like wearing cool shoes, I like being creative and creating this awesome workout flow. Like it's everything about it is fun. So that's why I go so much. Cause I'm looking forward to it. It is truly like saying that you would be disciplined for having your coffee in the morning. It's like <laughs> well, it doesn't really take discipline when you love it. So like for me and my business, when I find that I'm getting into this like grind where it's like this, I don't like this. This isn't, I, this is taking a lot of discipline and I'm not enjoying it. And guess what? If you're not enjoying it, you're not, it's not going to be good. So I'm like, okay, how can I shift this to, I love doing this, 
right? And that that's just like that problem solver mindset of like, I want that result in my life and how can I bring joy into it instead of just like beating myself into the ground and I have to do this. Performance goes down and compliance goes down when it's pure discipline. So that's, that's why I think, I think discipline is for losers. I don't think you get even close to the results that you would get if you turn what was discipline into fun. And I freaking love it. So that's just my thought for today. All right. That's it, guys. Hope you all have an awesome day. Bye.